And, and we are back. So this is something that I spotted. Um, they found us, really. Actually. They found us. In jo- we were in Georgia. And they said there was a really cool robot somewhere in a basement somewhere. And I went over to this basement and I found this thing sitting there. And it's amazing. So guys, introduce yourselves. Tell us who this little robot is. My name is Michael Gilniak. I'm Ian Campbell. And we're from Tovebot, and uh, we've come up with a uh, personal robot that uses the power of your smartphone to do many different things. So His name is Shimmy. Shimmy? Yep. Interesting. So Shimmy what can he do? Dance. Well, he can dance. He can find music for you. He uh, learns your tastes, so he'll recommend new music for you. He has he'll really re- bad music taste. I have excellent music taste. So if I, if, so this could play a lot of Barry Manilow, oh, but absolutely. like Barry Manilow, like piano covers, not the actual Barry Manilow. <laughs> you could find that for me. And yeah, eventually he, he can find that for you. Anything that's on Spotify or any of the other music services, Shimmy can find it. So we did a maker's video on you guys, but explain exactly what was going on in the, in the labs at Georgia Tech that basically brought this guy about, who the founders are and, and what you guys were working yeah, on. Yeah, sure. So the company was founded by uh, Gil Weinberg, who's a professor at Georgia Tech in the Center for Music Technology. Uh, Guy Hoffman is a professor at uh, IDC in Israel, and Rob Amy and myself. And uh, it really came out of research that was happening at Georgia Tech and IDC in this like advanced uh, musical robots. And we saw people respond to these very expensive, very massive robots in a, you know almost human way, a personal right. way. And the whole goal with Shimmy was to try to capture that magic into something that you and I can buy. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole robot right there, right? This is it, yeah. And the, the phone, make it dance. Let's okay. see what it, let's make it work. So John, you like Justin Bieber, right? Sure, I love Justin Bieber. Right. Who's Justin Bieber? Shimmy, play some Justin Bieber. He's got to connect to the internet, and the internet's a little slow here. At yeah, I can only imagine. There's a lot of gizmos. So the brains of Shimmy are basically in the smartphone. You're not actually doing a lot the of processing in the... The brains are in the smartphone and in the cloud services. So right now, he's actually connecting to Google Talk, and he's actually trying to process my voice. Let me give it another shot. You guys were at Disrupt this year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we competed at Disrupt. Shimmy, do you have any Justin Bieber? There he goes. Nah. No. <laughs> All right. Good. So why don't Good we go you. to a quick video? We had some video of the um, of the Shimmy and a lot of the other robots as well. So we'll run yeah, that sure. real quick. Okay. Take a look. Well, since I'm, I was a kid, you know, I've been fascinated with robotics, and and really, who is it? And when I met Gil and he told me about this project, I jumped at the chance of joining this world-class team of roboticists from MIT Media Lab, Georgia Tech, IDC. And I looked at their past projects, you know, Shimon R, which these are amazing robotics achievements. And I saw the Shimmy project is just a natural evolution of that robotics DNA. Our first robots, were designed to listen to musicians, understand the music, then improvise and give accompaniment automatically. We took this huge robot uh, with all these mechanical abilities and tried to commercialize it as a smaller iPhone cloud-based robot in the shape of Shimmy. Jimmy is a, a robotic speaker dock. It's a speaker dock for your iPhone or Android, and it doesn't just play your music, it actually listens to it and enjoys it as much as you do. We want to push the envelope and show the world that robots are not only repetitive mechanical machines, but actually intelligent, musical, expressive, and actually creative. Inside the robot, we're taking care of all the low-level uh, c- control of the motion but all of the the personality and intelligence, really the heavy lifting, is being done on the smartphone end. Shimmy, look at me. Do you have hot chocolate? Let's hear it. And one of the things that's really cool about that is that if you upgrade your smartphone and gain new capabilities, you're actually giving new capabilities to your robot, too. 
It also learns you. It looks at you, so it knows if you like a song or don't like a song. It can develop its own uh, understanding of your musical liking and personally become your musical buddy. So when we think about robots in people's homes, we really think about companions, about uh, devices that share the experience that you like to do with you in your home. Ready to follow me, Shimmy? So the real challenge in this project is taking an academic research robot that costs $2,000 to make, it's $2,000 worth of components, and even more if we actually calculated the PhD labor that went into building this thing. And taking that cost and getting it down to just a few hundred bucks so that a consumer, an everyday consumer like you or me, could enjoy this in their home. So, Kickstarter community, if you want to kickstart the personal robotics revolution, why not back us right now? All right, so there, that was your, that's very professionally done, by the way. Yeah, when, I, when I went into the labs, it was like, it looked like a mad scientist lair. It looked like the, the room in Blade Runner with the, uh, the guy who made all the toys. Yeah, kind of so, creepy. Yeah, kind of <laughs> creepy. So, Gil, I, you guys really cleaned up a lot. That's really nice. Yeah. But, uh, so, you, do, you want to, do you want to try to show us uh, Guns N' Roses? Yeah, sure. Shimmy, play Guns N' Roses. Oh, there she goes. Is it a she? I think so. Shimmy? It could be a he or a she. It's whatever you, uh, you know, I see. Whatever you so identify what with. Trans Can I buy this? Yeah, this is going to be on sale uh, summer of 2013. So we're at CES trying to get those uh, retail relationships to be able to market this thing in retail stores. How have you found CES this year? Oh, it's been amazing. But, you know, it's only eight hours into it. Yeah. So we've got a lot to go. So who is this for? You have, you, I mean, you're going to have to convince a lot of people to... Uh, but they need a doc that can do crazy cool stuff. Yeah, it's for robotic enthusiasts, it's for music lovers, it's for gadget lovers, people that really want to give their smartphones some personality, kind of bring stuff off the screen to be able to sort of uh, humanize so the interaction. The Ibo of the Ibo of Walkman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what, what I found very interesting when we talked in Atlanta was that you guys are moving the brains of robots to the cloud. So rather than having a robot that's essentially a server, you're relying on the cloud to do everything, right? Right. And the idea is so that you can have a, a simple, a cheaper robot and, and, and just sort of exploit the power of you know, technology and the power of computing that people already sort of possess and that's pervasive and ubiquitous in the world. So, so what's next for you guys? Well, this, uh, we have, this is an Android version. We're currently developing an iPhone 5 version as well. And we're moving into lots of new applications and new domains, things like video games, interactive learning with the robot, and, and domains beyond simple you know, music and dancing and, and social interaction. We also want to make Shimmy much more expressive and emotive as well. So, so you guys are tooling up for production. You're doing it in... You guys over there at the factories yeah. now trying to figure yeah. things out? Yeah. yeah, that's right. We're setting up our vendor base and getting this thing ready to launch. Right, that's cool. what CS is all about. So, uh, you want to give one of these things away? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. So, how can somebody win one of these things? It's not going to be right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be over the summer. So, if you wanna, one of your viewers wants a, a free shimmy, just tweet, I want a shimmy. Uh, hashtag, I want a shimmy. Uh, it's going to be the tweet that you need to do is I want a shimmy, hashtag CES Crunch. There we go. And there Ellen is, is uh, and watching, Ellen's the watching right, now, right now to figure out get, who's going to win gonna, one of these. We'll be able to announce the winners after. So thank you very much, guys. I really loved this thing when I first saw it, and I think you guys are really uh, doing extremely well. It's, I mean, you guys were on Disrupt, and it's gone. It's come even further. So I mean, it's still dancing over there to <laughs> the Guns N' Roses. They'll so, go as long as you want them to. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So up next, we have an uh, interview that I did this morning with the founder of Nest, the uh, intelligent thermostat, one of the other cool products that we discovered here at TechCrunch. Uh, we're going to roll that, and we will see you back here with our giveaways. Including have, a Nest. We have a Nest to give away. We have a JBL uh, a dock of some sort, and a couple other uh, G-Jaws, as they say. Stick so, around. Stick around. <laughs>